Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, we're going to try to find the area of one of the leaves of a rose, in this case a five-leaf rose, defined by equation r equals the cosine of five theta. So the general approach is to draw a small little area element, dA, which is in the shape of a triangle, so the area is one-half, r squared times d theta. And so to find the whole area, we need to integrate over all those little uh, triangles, but what we're going to do is we're going to start from the middle and go to the edge of the leaf, so only work through from zero to theta to the end of theta one, and we're going to double that area to get the whole leaf. So the idea is to take it twice, the integral from zero to theta one, one half r squared d theta. Now, what is the angle theta one? Well, if there's five leaves, we can take 360 degrees divided by five, which gives us 72 degrees for each leaf. That means from one end to the other end of the leaf. So if we only want to do half a leaf, we divide 72 by, two, 72 by 2, we get 36. And so that would be the angle from 0 to 36 degrees being theta sub 1. So call this 36 degrees. Now we're ready to go. Let's see, 36 degrees, that would be uh, 2 pi divided by 10. And uh, because that's one-tenth of a full circle, so it would be equal to pi divided by 5. All right, so I think we're ready to go. Now, integrating this, first we can simplify this a little bit more. We can say the area is equal to 1 half times 2, which is 1. The integral from 0 to pi over 5. R squared can now be written as the square of that, which is the cosine square of 5 theta d theta. All right, now in order to integrate that cosine square of theta, that would be kind of hard to do. So we're going to find the identity. Uh, we can write this as a being equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 5. The cosine square of an angle can be written as 1 half times 1 plus the cosine of twice that angle. So it would be 10 theta times d theta. We can take the 1 half out. And let's see here, we could probably write this as two separate integrals to make things a little bit easier. So the area is equal to one half times the first integral from zero to pi over five of d theta, that would be one times d theta, and then plus the integral uh, from zero to pi over five, that's 36 degrees, of the cosine of 10 theta. Now we're going to need a 10 d theta here so let's write the d theta. We're going to need a 10, 10 d theta, and 1 over 10 to compensate for that. So now we can go ahead and integrate that as well. So and let's close the bracket. So now we're ready to integrate this. So the area would be equal to 1 half times theta, because that's the integral of d theta, from 0 to pi over 5, plus 1 half or 1 20th, 1 20th, because 1 half times 1 10 is 1 20th, times, now the der derivative of cosine is the sine is the cosine, so the integral of the cosine is the sine, so that would be the sine of uh, 10 theta integrated from 0 to pi over 5. All right, let's now take a look at that second integral, because I think that's probably going to go to 0. If you plug in pi over 5, 10 times pi over 5, that would be 2 pi, the sine of 2 pi is 0, the sine of 0 is 0, so yes indeed, this part of the integral simply goes to 0, don't have to worry about that. And over here we have pi over 5 divided by 2, so we have the area being equal to pi divided by 10. Now, that would be the area of an entire leaf, one of the leaves, for both sides, because we took care of the bottom side by multiplying the integral by 2. If we want to have the area of the entire rows, all five leaves, we simply multiply that times 5, and we get the area of all of them together would be pi over 2 instead of pi over 10, five times as much. So anyway, that's how we find the area of a single leaf.